Welcome back. A dog's owner takes the stand in a civil trial out of Florida as he works to bring justice for the death of his beloved companion. A dog owner, Rodney Jacobson, filed a civil suit against Zachary Dieterle, saying Dieterle wrongly shot his dog, Candy. It happened on Dieterle's father's property back in 2016. Jacobson, who had permission to store his boat on the property, was cleaning it. Candy was off leash when she approached Dieterle. He says the dog was in an attack stance. After that, Dieterle pulled out his revolver and shot the dog twice. The Sarasota County Sheriff's Office says Dieterle was not charged because he had a permit to carry the weapon. They say he was he was also within his right to use deadly force because he feared for his life. Jacobson says Candy had no history of aggression and was only barking at Dieterle because she didn't recognize him. On Thursday, Jacobson took the stand. He testified what happened the night Candy was killed. I heard uh, two gunshots. Looked over at Mr. Dieterle and he had a uh, revolver in his hand and he had fired two shots at Candy. Uh, I was in disbelief. I said, did you just shoot my, do my dog? And he said, uh, I'm right, I did, and I'll do it again. How did you find Candy? Well, I, I followed the, her. I saw where she was running towards the boat, so I ran after her, and um, when I got closer to the boat on the dock and then on the gunnel of the boat and then in the cabin of the boat where she ended up, there were, you know, a trail of blood. Were you in fear during that situation? I was in fear that, that he had not put his gun down and was still brandishing it around while, while um, I was going after her Candy. And, but were you fearful? during when he was firing the weapon that it could have been turned on you. Yes. Terry Jacobson sued for intentional infliction of emotional distress. What kind of damages can he recover under that cause of action? You know what? This is one of my favorite causes of action. Under Florida law, you have to prove four things, that it's deliberate, it's outrageous, the conduct caused the emotional distress, and the distress was severe. So you have to demonstrate those things. And you do that by asking whether or not he sought medical treatment, whether or not any of his relationships suffered. That's why you saw the plaintiff asking all of those questions to the individual on the stand to the plaintiff on the stand. And so he answered those questions. The jury can then determine what are your actual damages? Did you have to pay for this? Did you have to pay for that? And also the jury can give you an award for that emotional distress. Really, the attorney should try to set a number, but if you don't, the jury can set a number themselves. So it's a really broad, difficult one to prove, but a broad cause of action. Yeah, difficult to prove. And any dog owner will say the same. What number do you put on a beloved four-legged companion such as uh, Candy? But Catherine, Jacobson hopes that winning this case brings about criminal charges, but is that likely and how would that work? Not necessarily because the burden of proof for criminal cases are much higher as we know, as opposed to civil cases. And so winning here in the civil case will not automatically result in criminal charges. Now, what could happen though is the evidence that have been presented in the civil trial, they can use that for the criminal case. I know that there were no criminal charges filed against Peter Lee for shooting the dog because the officers felt that he was within his rights to shoot the dog because the dog was on the property and also he said he feared for his life. Now, what comes out in the civil trial will definitely be critical if there's going to be a future criminal charge case. Alright, we'll see how this case continues and how it's resolved in the end and maybe it does, maybe it doesn't go to that next level of a criminal case. When we come back, the murder of Nipsey Hussle. Opening statements are presented as Eric Holder Jr. stands trial for the murder.